In this video, I am going to show you how to make a top quality tungsten LED ring light, or as some like to call it, a diva light. Now, let's get this out of the way first. While this is a DIY project, I am not going to show you how to make the cheapest light possible. There are countless other videos on YouTube that do that. However, I am going to show you how to make the highest quality DIY ring light that can hold its own in any studio setting. The reason this light is so good is because we are going to be using tungsten white LED strip light from Environmental Lights. This strip has a CRI of over 98 and a CQS of over 95, so it will be producing some of the best color achievable in a studio environment. You can learn more about the lights we are going to use by watching this video. Okay, so let's get started. This is what you'll need for the project. One 5 meter reel of tungsten LED strip light. One power adapter. The strip light I am using runs on 24 volts DC and will use about 80 watts. So I am going to use this nifty 96 watt 24 volt power supply with a built in dimming knob so I can have full control over the lights. Two foam mats, which you can find on Amazon. A conversion adapter for a light stand. I am using one that is made for adapting a light stand for a crossbar. Some sort of white fabric if you want to create a diffuser. I am using some fabric that I found on an old umbrella. A ruler, a box cutter, a glue gun, scissors, a sharpie, a screw, a piece of rope or string, and some metallic silver spray paint. To begin, get the foam mats. Since these are made for interlocking with one another, you'll want to cut off the foam nubs that are on the edges of each mat to make the edges straight. Next, on the smooth side of one of the mats, use some sort of straight edge to draw between the corners. This is how you'll find the center. Now, let's draw out the ring. To create the inner and outer circles, tie one end of the string to the screw and stick it right into the center of the mat. Tie the sharpie onto the string as well, about seven and a half inches away from the center. Since the screw is holding the string in place, you can draw a nice clean circle. Once you've drawn the inner circle, move the pin a few inches out on the string so you can draw a bigger circle that reaches almost to the edge of the mat. Once the circles are drawn, use the box cutter to cut out the ring. Now, we'll use the other mat to make the walls of the light. Using the ruler, measure in three inches from the edge and make some marks. Then, connect the marks so you have a straight line from edge to edge. You can now cut on the line using the box cutter. Repeat this step five more times so you end up with six pieces that are three inches wide. You'll have one extra piece left over that is a bit wider. Save this for later. Next, to create the inner wall, glue two of the pieces together with the hot glue gun. I recommend putting down some cardboard or newspaper to keep things from getting too messy. Glue three of the other pieces together as well. This will be for the outer wall. Now that you have the pieces glued together, you can glue the walls onto the ring. Lay the longer piece flat with the smooth side facing up. Put a bit of hot glue onto the edge to begin gluing the ring to the wall. Make sure the textured side of the ring will be the back. Once you've started the wall, you can now lay the ring flat and continue to glue the wall around the outer edge. you're going to end up with a small gap in the wall. This is fine, since this is where the wires will exit the light. Next, hot glue the inner wall into the ring, with the textured side facing the center. You'll probably end up with a small gap here as well. You should close this gap to make a complete ring by measuring the gap, then cutting off a piece of the extra 3 inch wide strip. Glue that piece into the ring to complete the inner wall. 
Now that we have the ring made, it's time to create the piece that will allow us to mount it to a light stand. Using the extra foam strip that was a bit wider, cut two 7 inch long pieces. We'll sandwich the light stand adapter between the smooth side of the foam pieces, so create a little bed right in the center of the foam with your box cutter. Next, glue the adapter into one of the beds so that the screw hole side hangs a little bit out of the foam. Then glue the two pieces together. Glue this piece onto the back side of the ring so the screw mount points right between the gap in the outer wall of the ring. Now, take the whole thing outside and spray it down with some metallic silver spray paint. Make sure you really coat it because we want it to reflect as much light as possible. Once the paint has dried, get your reel of tungsten LED strip light and glue it into the outer wall of the ring so the lights face the center. Make sure you begin the reel with the wire exiting the gap between the wall. The strip does have an adhesive backing, but to be extra secure, I recommend using the glue gun. When you finish, you should have about three rows of strip light encircling the wall, with the wire of the tail end of the strip exiting through the gap as well. You can now create the diffuser for the light. If you don't want a diffuser, just skip this step. Get your piece of fabric and drape it over the top of the ring light. Then, bit by bit, hot glue it to the edge of the inner wall, making sure to keep things as taut as possible. Using scissors, Cut out the extra fabric from the center of the ring. Now, glue the fabric to the edge of the outer wall, again keeping things as tight as possible. Once it's glued on, cut the extra fabric that is hanging off the side of the light. That's it! You can now mount your ring light to a light stand, plug in the power adapter, and start shooting. If you have any questions at all, please give us a call. We'd love to hear from you.